Well, in a statement to the BBC, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency said, we are deeply saddened to hear about the death of Ms Shaw and our thoughts are with the family. Over 81 million doses of vaccines against COVID-19 have now been administered in the UK, saving thousands of lives through the biggest vaccination programme that's ever taken place in this country. No effective medicine or vaccine is without risk. Our advice remains that the benefits of the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca outweigh the risks in the majority of people. It is still vitally important that people come forward for their vaccination and for their second dose when invited to do so. Well, joining me now is the BBC's medical editor, Fergus Walsh. Fergus, tragic case, heartbreaking, of course, for Gareth and for everyone who knew Lisa. How rare are cases like this? Well, they are rare, Jeff. There have been something like 399 cases of this specific rare condition where the vaccine appears to induce uh, clots combined with low platelet levels, something that doesn't occur naturally, which is why the MHRA, the regulator, does think um, that these are likely to have been caused by the vaccine. Now, it occurs around uh, a one in every 115,000 doses, um, and there have been 71 deaths. So one or two deaths per million doses of vaccine. And you've got to set that against the risk of COVID since the start of the pandemic. There have been around 1,900 deaths per million population. Now, as the MHRA, MHRA said, no medicine is without risk. And there's two things you have to balance. Firstly, obviously, the younger you are, the less risk you are from COVID. But the more COVID there is around, like there is now, then the higher the benefit from having a vaccine. Well, Lisa's husband suggested they're offering people a choice of which type of vaccine they're given. How practical is that? Well, that, that's not something that is uh, really ever been done in the UK. We basically turn up and you get the jab that's offered to you. Um, the body which advises the government and, and sets out what vaccines people get, um, they've actually said that people under 40 who seem to be uh, at slightly higher incidence of cases of these clots in younger people. Um, since May, all people under 40 um, who are naturally at a lower risk of COVID get a different type of vaccine, the Pfizer or Moderna, um, which use a different type of vaccine technology, which doesn't seem to cause these clots. Um, and there's actually um, a trial ongoing about mixing first and second doses. And that has found actually that that boosts your immunity, although you get more likelihood of short-term side effects. And it may well be in the autumn when we get booster third doses that people may well be offered a different type of vaccine than they got in their first two doses. And so Lisa, incredibly unlucky by the sounds of it. Just briefly, how much research is being carried out into the side effects of AstraZeneca? Well, I've spoken to AstraZeneca um, and I've spoken to the team that uh, developed the vaccine and they're both working on, on this and they say they're both working with the, the vaccine regulator. But at the moment, although people know what happens in these cases and now treatments are much better, it's been identified much better by haematologists um, and they've reduced uh, the mortality rate from this, they still don't really understand why the vaccine may be triggering this. OK, Fergus Walsh, thanks very much for joining us. Now being able to see clearly...